What is temperature display offset? Today, I'm gonna to show you what temperature display offset is, show you how you can use this to be able to help you if you have a similar situation like the one I've got right now, where we've got two thermostats. We've got one thermostat controlling half of the house, one thermostat controlling the other half, but one half is five degree colder than the other, right? We have a five degree temperature difference. So we're gonna use temperature display offset and we're gonna be able to help this situation. And hopefully this will be able to help you if you have a similar situation. This is a T4 thermostat. I'm gonna show you both thermostats and show you that they're set for 65 and they're both off. But each side is not 65. Let me show you. This side of the house, thermostat is set for 65. You see, heat and it's 65, right? This is one side of the house. Now if we go to the other side of the house, this is the other side of the house, 65, see, 65, and this is the other side. This side is actually, uh, it's, it's about five degree uh, colder than what this thermostat says. Now, I'm gonna show you how I know that. I'm gonna use my thermal imaging camera. This is not gonna be mine for very long because I'm giving this away the month of January. Stay tuned, let's just come over here and shoot the floor real quick. It's floor is going to be cooler than the wall. Looks like it's 60 degrees. All right, 60 degrees. There's that thermostat. Now let's go in here. This room right here. And what's it say? Image calibrating 53. Whoo! That's much colder. All right. So now this one, it needs to run a little longer, right? So, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. To close the gap and decrease the amount of temperature split between this side of the house and that side of the house, we need to make this unit run longer. So we need to change this temperature, right? We need to lower it. So what are we gonna do with this T4 thermostat? We're gonna hit the menu and the plus button. All right, then we're gonna hit select. And then we're gonna hit select until it says the number 1420 all right and now we're going to lower it all right three degrees look at that now we're going to hit select and then home now it shouldn't say 65 now it says 62 now the heat's on so this is a way you can handle a temperature difference if you've got two thermostats, if you have a large home and one unit needs to run a little bit longer because maybe you have some thermal loss. Let's talk about what can cause this hot and cold spot. We're standing in the old part of the house. This house was added onto. This is the existing part of the house and now we have a new part of the house. So the house is much bigger and the existing older part of the house is the part of the house that the temperature is much lower during the winter. The temperature is much warmer or higher during the summer. And that is probably due to the fact that this older part of the house doesn't have as good insulation as the new part. It's probably not sealed up as good as the new part of the house. And it's because of thermal loss. Uh, maybe we're missing uh, insulation in the attic. Maybe we're missing insulation around the windows. Maybe the windows are older. And that's where our leaks are. And we're having that cold air from outside come inside. How can you handle that? You can handle that by using a thermal camera, by checking those areas, finding those spots that are leaking where you can actually locate that thermal loss. And then you can replace your windows, you can add your insulation, you can seal up around those areas where it's leaking. You can also need to make sure that you check your duct system. Make sure that you have enough ducts, make sure they're the proper size, make sure you have the right amount of airflow because uh, that can cause a hot and cold spot. If you didn't have enough airflow in this room and you had plenty of airflow in the other room, that's gonna cause a temperature difference. If you wanna know, if you wanna learn more about duct sizing or equipment sizing, check out my playlist titled HVAC Training Courses. I've got a bunch of videos that will help you learn how to size duct work, size equipment. Now the unit's running. It says it's 63 now. We got it set for 65. This is for the old part. And then for the new part, this thermostat is still saying 65 and it's off. Before I leave, I wanna show you guys the job. Look at this. 
Bob and Dustin did this, and man, they did an awesome job. There's the three furnaces, and then you can see this ductwork is just awesome. Absolutely awesome. All square duck, everything looks great. Looking good. And then they used line hide cover with those line sets and just made it look awesome. We're gonna take a look at that installation manual here in a moment, but I just wanna say that if you've got thermal loss, if you've got infiltration, you know, air from inside to outside, you need to fix those problems. The temperature display offset can help you, but is it the solution? No, it's probably not the solution for you having a, especially if you have a really large temperature difference. You need to find out where you need to seal. Now on this house, the old existing part and the new, it is all foamed, everything was foamed. Now in the corners, you could see that blue area and that's where you had um, a lower temperature. And the reason you had that is because when the foamers foamed, they couldn't foam behind the studs. So you just had studs right there in the corners of that room. So there's nothing you could do about that. And hopefully this will suffice because when it did get done running, I let it set for 30 minutes. I went back in there and we only had a two degree dip temperature difference. So it was much better. This may help. We might not have to come back, but if we do, what am I gonna do? I'm either gonna move the thermostat, that's one option, or two, we are going to probably do some duck uh, balancing, and we're probably gonna throw more air into those rooms that have lower temperatures. Now let's take a look at this manual, and let me show you uh, 1420 on the T4 installation manual. Here's the T4 thermostat box. Here is the installation instructions. And if you go to page nine, at the very bottom, it says 1420 temperature display offset. No difference in displayed temperature and the actual room temperature if you set it for zero. The thermostat can display up to three degree Fahrenheit, lower or higher than the actual measured temperature. So remember we made it negative three. So it was 65 and then when we got done, it displayed 62. So if I was to go to three, then it would be 68. So you can make the temperature displayed higher, three degrees higher or three degrees lower with temperature display offset. Now you know about temperature display offset. Hopefully this is something you can utilize to be able to help you in the field. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. Let me know what you learned down in the comments. If you got a question, please ask the question. If you don't have a question, that's okay. Let me know who you are. Let me know where you're from. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad, and I'll keep you cool if you let me.